First open circuit and then short circuit of loaded characteristics. First open circuit characteristics. Order in the open circuit, other characteristics are very important. Case number one actually open circuit test connect. We are maintaining speed of the alternator as constant. Clear? So in such a case, speed will be maintained as constant. Right? Upon next in our room, we saw the EMF equation. What we saw EMF equation is 4.44 times of number of turns, flux, frequency, distribution factor, that is pitch factor into distribution factor. Clear? If I am going to maintain this is constant, <coughs> speed is constant, sorry, this is number of turns, distribution factor, pitch factor, everything is constant, right? And we are going to maintain the area of speed as constant. Speed on the constant I have that is directly proportional to frequency. That term, speed of frequency is directly proportional, and I can say frequency is directly proportional to induced EMF. But the thing is, we are going to vary the value of flux. EMF vary but we are fixing the value of frequency, right? So what is the conclusion? Frequency is constant, speed is constant. In such a case, we are going to vary the value of induced EMF by varying the value of flux. Clear? So speed is maintained as constant, but frequency of the machine also what? Maintained as constant. Next up, in the case of NF Anyway, induced EMF frequency is directly proportional now when your flux is constant. Suppose flux is constant or frequency is constant or this now. Up and down row, flux is worth of induced EMF. In such a case, this is become direct proportional to flux when frequency is constant. This is become direct proportional to frequency when flux is become constant. And this is become direct proportional to frequency in the flux when both are varying. Clear? Okay, let us see. Open circuit is speed constant, that is fixed. From NF Anof in open circuit, I am going to measure the voltage in between. Terminal, that is when the line to line turn no voltage measure for the problem. Yeah, but face voltage we know. Up in a measure for the problem, since your network is star connected, up a line to line or then you root three or divide for right? And next thing is in open circuit, the current is going to be zero and zero. We all know that is open circuit, right? Next year, from end of the we are going to vary the area of field current by varying the area of field voltage. Now, field current is very funny. The ammeter of field current is measured for the problem. And then, in the voltmeter, we are going to measure the terminal voltage by keep on varying the area of field current. But in the field current increase for the problem, we all know field current is directly proportional to flux. Now, flux is directly proportional to induced EMF in our case. We are maintaining the area of frequency as constant. So, our flux is directly proportional to induced EMF. What is the conclusion? Our field current vary by the area of flux to increase the area of linearly or induced EMF also will increase. Now, the characteristics are going to be ideally, right, both are directly proportional. Correct? Now, when our flux versus induced EMF will become a straight line. That is called a gap line, but this characteristics is called ideal characteristics, right? Now, for practical answer, what do you think about it? Practical answer, what do you think about it? In the machine, the EMF is induced like that. Yes, that is correct. But if you want to do this, you can do it. If you want to design the winding, you can do it with the maximum of winding, you can do it with 200 voltage, you can do it with the winding design. If you want to do it with the machine, you can do it with the machine. You can do it with the voltage. The winding of the red voltage is 200, that is fixed, that is fixed. If you want to increase the voltage, you can do it with the voltage. If you want to increase the voltage, you can do it with the voltage. The machine will be saturated. If you want to raise the voltage, you can do it with the voltage. Maximum voltage induced strides of another rated voltage on the rich of the other way. Now, your curve is saturated. This rated voltage is almost fixed. Actually, we are going to be now. We are going the rated voltage is now very good. Wait a second. The rated voltage is now very good. We can we are going up to 1.2 times of field voltage, right? So, that is that is approximately practical. Now, we are going to be field voltage. Okay, and then we are going to be this end of the curve. So this line is called fully saturated line. This is called ideal characteristic. So this is all about open circuit characteristics. So one more thing, reading and then the upper one, the line voltage thing. Now, what is it? This is the rated voltage. Clear? This is upper one. Now, what is it? Machine is saturated. In the point, what is it? Minus one. What is it? That is called the knee point. Clear? And the upper machine is called saturated. So the corresponding line, the corresponding field is called the knee voltage. Clear? That is called rated voltage of the machine. So this is all about open circuit characteristics of the uh, synchronous machine. If there are any doubts, you can ask in the comment section. So thanks for watching our videos. Thank you all.